here are my ingredients for today's tutorial. I am starting off uh, with a ramekin, which I'm gonna use to bake everything in. And I have a spoon and a knife. And I have one egg, I have a couple of leaves of fresh basil, I have some pepper, one tomato, about medium size, medium to large tomato, and some salt. So let's get started. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is cut the top off of my tomato. And then we start scooping out the inside. I just cut here a little bit, make it a little easier. This might be a little bit of muscle power in there. All right, so I've scooped it all out. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain the juices from the tomatoes out. You can, if you like to, make smoothies or um, make your own homemade uh, tomato sauce, spaghetti sauce. You can definitely use this. I'm gonna eat this. I think this is a waste of food if I just throw it away. I mean, this tomatoes are so, so good for you. So we've scooped out the tomato, and the next step will be just filling it all in and putting it in the oven. All right, scrambling the egg. I just did one egg. I guess you could do two if you'd like. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt. Freshly ground pepper. Now, the tricky part is going to be getting this into the tomato without spilling. So I'm going to try to do that here. Get a plate. So, here's my tomato. Now, I haven't forgotten about the basil. Um, I guess you can, depending on you know, if you want to have a little bit of basil in each bite, you could just chop it all up and uh, put it in with the egg when you scramble it, or you can put it on the top. I'm gonna to put it on the top because I think it'll look uh, prettier. Let's go ahead and um, see what I can do here for scrambled egg in. Spilled a little bit, didn't I? Doesn't look like it. All right. You know what? I think I'm going to scramble another egg. So here it is. I filled in the scrambled eggs uh, with a little bit of salt and pepper and I placed it inside of the tomato. Um, at this point, if you want, you can go ahead and place the basil on top. I think I'm just gonna wait a little bit um, later after we finish baking it. So now I'm gonna put it in the oven for 30 minutes at 350. If you have a toaster oven, that's even better. You can save some electricity there by heating up a smaller space. So we're gonna go ahead and put this baby in the oven. Here's my adorable tomato, ready to go. Put this baby in the toaster oven for 30 minutes. So I've placed the tomato in the toaster oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And now we just have to wait so we can enjoy it later. The timer just went off and I wish we had smell of vision so you could smell how good it smells right now. And I could hear it bubbling a little bit. And um, we'll let that sit for about two to three minutes just for it to cool down a little bit. And then we'll add the basil and um, you can add some uh, cheese if you want on top, Parmesan, mozzarella, whatever you like. Here's a final product. We have taken the tomato and scrambled eggs, ramekin out of the toaster oven. It's been 30 minutes, it looks great. The basil leaves wilted a little bit. There's some Parmesan uh, that's been sprinkled on top. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video. Try it out at home, it's actually really, really easy. And 
and um, let me know in your comments below if you tried it out or any tips and suggestions you may have.